Hello and welcome today. We're checking out Drone Swarm. This is a sci-fi tactical game being developed by uh, Still Alive Studios and published by Astragon Entertainment. It's set to come out here on October 20th. We're going to take a look at this one here and see what's going on. So essentially, we'll get a bit of a story, but it explains the, the you know the story. Uh, but we've got like this mothership and we have this swarm of drones around us. Drone Swarm, hence the name. Uh, what we're going to be doing is using, uh, it's almost like, it's like painting with violence, I suppose. We have a mothership, and we have drones, as I mentioned, but the drones are controlled by us, like, painting across space and sort of uh, uh, directing those drones on where to swarm. So it's an interesting idea, and I thought we should see it here. So let's, let's do that. I am Nook, and we shall begin... Yeah a, diff yeah, a different take on strategy games. I couldn't have said it better. January 21st, 2111. A date I will never forget. The day the sphere appeared in our orbit. We were not ready. Out of options, we unleashed every nuke we had. We only succeeded in destroying our own planet. Boys with bows and arrows. The last remnants of Earth tried to resist, tried to survive. So did my brother and I, but it was hopeless. Yet, we kept fighting until that one fateful day when he subconsciously transferred his soul into a drone. Turns out, Aiden was the key. Because of him, Eva sensed our way out. Through the sphere, she initiated the Great Sacrifice. 32,000 human psionics merged their soul into the swarm that day. Now, ours to command, we use the swarm to rebuild. But it was too late. Earth was lost. Eva studied the sphere with her powers and found a way to build our first interstellar ship, the Argo, powered by the sphere protected by the swarm. On it, 32,000 human souls locked in stasis. But power attracts power, and the Vor were drawn to the energy of the sphere. They could not have it. The swarm. It was like trying to control a tornado. Some say we should have died along with our planet. I say, this is our chance to start anew. My name is Carter. Captain of the Argo, and we will find New Earth. Okay, very comic booky, but uh, and I have some questions. Jump successful. We but just entered a new cluster and are ready for scanning, Captain. I hope we find a suitable planet fast. Earth is running out of time. We need a new home. Okay. Engage. Unknown vessel, this is the Argo. Cease fire, we come in peace. No response, Captain. Battle stations. Okay, so essentially we're out looking for New Earth, uh, and we're going to destroy anyone in our path that uh, we don't like. So let's go ahead, draw attack, path through the enemy. So this is where the, the drawing part comes in. We sort of draw our enemies and, and tell them where to go. We can also do a shield if we want. We're just going to do the attack and just go whoop, whoop. And our guys will go out there and then, like, tear the them up. The swarm is ripping them apart. It sure is. Like that. Nobody tells me to get out of their space. Or I'll unleash the swarm. Oh, we missed. Okay, never mind. We'll unleash the swarm again. There we go. More energy signatures. Remember, Carter, you can use the swarm defensively as well. So we're in attack formation. We also have a defense formation. We're going to learn that in just a minute. Which goes something like this. And we can go hit W, and then we can... Yeah, yeah, I got it. And then we can just draw ourselves sort of a line here. And then they go out and they sort of form... Well, they form a defensive wall. It's kind of neat. Careful, Captain. They may punch through the wall. Well, don't you worry. We'll just blast them. How about another one? There we go. Okay, cancel More orders. Incoming. No they problem. Go, they go me. away. More coming in. Let's draw our, uh, our arc here. And they're gonna move around. It's a little tricky to get them when they're moving around because they're uh, well, they're moving around. 
We want to make sure we get that guy. There we go. Nice. That one's gone, gone too. Let's look at these guys. Yeah. That was it. System cleared. I don't feel particularly welcome. <laughs> I think we're the bad guys. <laughs> no one tells me I'm not allowed in their space. Otherwise, I'd destroy them. <laughs> With my army of fleas. Okay, Galaxy Map. Overview of systems. Okay, right. We left Earth one day ago. We slaughtered five defragmenters and two scouts. Excellent. So, uh, new available modules. Upgrade a psionic burst projector. Suit a beam that, uh, that arcs between targets. Okay. A new railgun as well. Alright. So, we're going to go uh, over here to Threshold, I suppose. And jump. I guess we're trying to get... Can I go... Yeah, yeah. We're, we're going to go somewhere out in space. And find new, uh, new Earth. So, let's go here. Jump. And if somebody says, you're not welcome, well, we know what's going to happen. We're going to tell them we're welcome. Captain, there's already someone here. Sensors are showing it's the same type of ship that attacked the Argo back at Earth. Mm, these guys are the worst. They Engage. sent us a message. Translated. Unknown vessel, you are in full territory. Leave or be fired upon. Mm, these are the bad this guys. This is bad news, Captain. We cannot leave without scanning the system. Okay, then we have to defend ourselves. No idle threat, then. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh. Defend. And then slaughter. It is tricky because you got to sort of plan it. you got to get a plan where he's going to go. That's it? Could have been worse. Is that all you got? No, there's more. I just had to jinx it, didn't I? Way to go, Jenkins, or whatever your name is. Okay, make sure we get that guy first, and then those guys. Oh, I missed, I completely missed him. Stop moving. Who got that one good. Nice. Just do like an X. There we go. Uh, they're still in my arc here. Let's just go ahead and make sure we get there. If I start, just like circle them, is that a good idea? Do it again. Got him. So we're sending in 4,000 with each squiggle. I suppose we can just keep on sending them out, can't we? Oh yeah, we can. We can just keep on. Oh, look at that. Do what we came for and leave. I just, I just want to, I just want to play around a little bit. Look at that. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Perform that scan. Okay. Are you uh, Earth? Atmospheric gas composition is not suitable for sustained human life. Human life. Uh, Eva. Eva. I think it's Eva. Of course, the sphere, however, has unlocked more of its secrets when exposed to this particular location. We got some experience for that. Captain, I've finished compiling the data on the enemy. It's the Vor. They're indeed the ones who attacked us back home and who are technologically superior to humanity. Highly advanced. Still no match for us. Right, Aiden? Indeed, brother. Anyway, their ships are heavily armored and employ high-tech missile-based weaponry. What we have, thanks to the drones, is our maneuverability. So let's use that to our advantage. I haven't quite figured out. So our souls are in the drones. So if one of our ships blows up, is that guy dead? Or is he like, switch, switch, he can switch drones. So in our mothership here, there's like that big glowing orb thing, and that is sort of like, uh, I think that's like sort of our warp core, and also our, where we're holding all those people, I think as well. Alright, let's go to, uh, well, let's go to hell, shall we? Uh, in hell, there's a threat level 1, and there is a blue nebula. Alright. Oh, great. The Vor again. Already in position. A welcome community just for us? Oh, they shouldn't have. Aiden is a real jerk. That guy. <laughs> Let's try this again. Bullship, this is the, the power Argo. went to his head. We're here to scan the system's planets. Nothing else. Why are we even offering but talking we to will him? Defend ourselves. These guys are the worst. You are trespassing. You can see the longer I hold it, the more ships go out. There's seven, eight thousand. We cannot tolerate that. Hey. I'm under the impression that this will become a running theme with these Vor aliens. Can I do another uh, another arc, like a double arc here? 
Yeah, yeah, I can. So the longer I hold it here, there's 4k. No, just 4. Take him down, take him down. There's a whole bunch of him. Everyone's away from us. Almost got him. Yeah, if you just sit still, it'd be real nice. So close. Okay, last batch. Here's to got hoping him. we were done. Oh, we got more behind us. Another you know, wall over here. Oh, we got one over there too. Oh, what if I do that? Ooh, ooh. Um, hang on. Let's cancel those. Can we? Uh, can we do like a wall, a proper wall to? Not really. Can you do two walls? Cancel that one. Cancel that one. Okay. Okay. Done. With that one. Is there somebody over here? There we go. Finish him off, because he's right in our little gap there. There we go, got him. Drone count, we got 27,000. I took a bit of beating there, because I, I had a hole that I didn't, I didn't move around the map good enough. All right, right Captain. System clear. Excellent. Let's scan. And it field makes it unsuitable for life. We found a strange reading uh, that tripped up some spheres' memory banks, though. A swarm upgrade, eh? 32,000 now. We need to go up. Let's get out of here. Sorry if the audio's a little loud, but it's got some really cool sound effects. Okay, to Romanijan. Cannonball. The void between stars, a mine must establish a concept of space focus. Oh, space. Focus will compress a swarm around a single point in space. Boom, rock solid. High mass sphere, then you release it in a direction. Oh, and like pull it back and then... Oh, neat. Okay, let's go there. Yeah, I know there's different actions in here. I, I, I haven't got past this point, though, so I wasn't sure what we're going to be faced with. Sensors show a warship being attacked by someone else? Oh, clearly good guys. I'm translating this new faction's language. Hopefully, we have more luck with them. Hang Unknown out. vessel, this is the Argo. Do not fire. We come in peace. Of course you are. Just like the last ship that pretended not to be hostile. We will not fall for the same vor trick twice. Um, okay. Take that. Stop going so fast. Beware of their lasers. If oh. the swarm diminishes, oh. they will punch right through. There's more of them warping in. Where are they? Okay, so we got a line there. Is that it? Just the two? Make sure we get that guy. He's, uh, he's trying to get behind us. Take that. I'm going to cancel that one. And then, uh, maybe I shouldn't have. Leave the target. Leave the target. Ow, ow, ow. We're down to 75% hull integrity. Well, it's kind of hard. Get that guy. He's down. Okay, excellent. Okay, we got it. We got plenty of walls up now. I think we're good. Send them all out. Blast them all. Oh, this guy. Sir, we're already down to 50% hull integrity. Just railroad tracks. Now that it's there we over, go. Who exactly were those aliens? These guys were tough. Let's scan real quick. And we got a beat down there. Well, composition is different. Uh, so different, it's unstable. We found a strange reading. Set off some of the spheres. Memory encoding. We got a cascade laser. Okay. Carter, can you feel it? Your psionic power is growing. I might be able to use that to teach the swarm new capabilities. Great. We need any edge we can get. How about the Argo? Anything we can do with the alien components we salvaged so far? Well, after the appropriate research has been conducted, likely. 
Reverse engineering some of the technology should be viable, so we might retrofit the Argo with it. Just imagine the possibilities. Okay. Let's jump. I don't feel so good. I'm at half health. That was rough. I, I um, underestimated the, uh, the lasers. The next system, I suppose. I want to see the thing where we can do, like, the blast through stuff. I want to do that. Okay. There it is. Cannonball. Press and hold. Amass them in a ball, and then just leap. Okay. Got it. Uh, it's all upgrade modules. I want to learn cannonball. Yep. Is that already there? Oh, yeah. E. Okay. Can we test it here? No, we can't. All right. Is that all we have? We have a skill point. Oh, here we go. Uh, I will take... Shoots targets in a tight fixed angle, or it shoots a beam that arcs between targets. Let's take that one. Oh, yeah. One of those, please. Excellent. I can't see what it does, but sure. Do we, do we use it? Yep, that one. Okay. We have a scale point, that thing. Alright, let's go to uh, Mist. And let's use the cannonball thing because it looks really cool. Inhospitable. There's a cargo container stranded on the other side of this asteroid field. If we carefully push it towards the Argo, we might be able to retrieve it. Push it towards us, eh? So you're saying... Its structural integrity is decaying. Best not to waste any more time, then. Wait till the drones arrive. Aim. And release. Oh, neat! Okay. We get there? Alright, so let's just get this uh, this asteroid out of the way then. They're going through the asteroid? Neat. I didn't know what you did. Okay, fine. Oh, did I miss? Okay. I'm going to get here and then hit up. Why aren't we hitting it? Get over here then. Oh, I can't. Guys, I can't go through there. Uh. Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! Okay, we'll get over this way. I'm gonna time this thing. Quickly! Quickly! Okay, ten thousand of you, and boom! Okay, we gotta get over here though. Wait, wrong button. Don't attack it. Okay, we're gonna put it right there. I think I missed. Boink. Not good enough. It's like right there. Do I get this stop there? Oh, it's going to be tough. Alright. Um, my ship's in the way. There you go. There you go. Eh? Perfect. There we go. We got it. The container itself is worth a study as well. Okay, let's jump. Man, sound effects are great. All right, four days, five days since leaving Earth. Close, to, uh, close can in in crossroads. Okay, we can do ensnare, slow down, or always stop ships that pass through it. Ah, okay, okay. Let's do it. I thought that health was gonna was gonna 
carry over each each uh like when I was a half health, but it seems to not do that, so it's good. Any conclusive close range scans required. Let's get there. We'll jump right into an ongoing battle. With a bit of luck, Ooh. they'll ignore us and we can scan for suitable planets without any interference. Okay, survive. So much for that. Guess we have to finish this fight before we can start the scanning process. Okay. Um defend. And then blast this guy a bunch. He's big and scary. We want to take him out. They're fighting each other. Maybe we should fight them also. Because we just defeated the only other enemy. Game theory, right? Whoops. Get that one. Get that one before he hits us. Also, maybe the idea, because they still... Go hull integrity, 75%. Yeah, he's like right on us. He's past that def that defense. Like, go away. They really want this station destroyed. And us. I don't know how to fire that gun. We have to be mindful of those heavy lasers. Ooh. Perhaps we can disrupt them with a cannonball attack. And thus resetting their lasers. Great idea. Cannonball attack, eh? Interrupted. Got it. He goes through things. Okay. Ooh, not, not what I wanted. Blast him. Boom. Come on, come on, drones. Come on, drones. Come on, drones. And swarm them. You go away. Put a defense up. Not that we, uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Defense. Uh, just kill him. He's almost dead. Get him. The station is not attacking us. But they're also not responding. Really? We don't even get a thank you? No, oh, this guy. They're transmitting a signal to a nearby system. How about we check it out after we finish our scans here? Yeah, let's kill some more. And the graphics are fantastic. It's so... The, the audio is, is great, and then you get this little, like, Windows 95 thing here. A candidate's planet atmospheric gas composition is not suitable to sustain human life. He reports that a sphere, however, has unlocked more of its secrets when exposed. We've got more experience. This new faction is known as the Dashan and appears to be at war with the Vor. Their engine and weapon systems look advanced, but their hull seems low-tech in comparison. Given the few high-tech components they maintain, I conclude that the Dashan were provided those parts by another civilization. I wonder who that might have been. In contrast to the Vor, they employ energy-based weapons. They also prefer to employ hit-and-run tactics, Rather than a straight fight, probably because of their fragility. We'll have to find a way to counter that. Alright, well there we go. There's Drone drone Swarm. It is out October 20th. I'll have links below and you can check it out. Thanks again for watching. And I'll see you next time.